Hey everybody, welcome back to the weekly Slime Fun Update with your host Boomer. It's been two weeks and a lot of new information has come out. Can't wait to get it to you. Let's get started. So to begin with, 117 brought us some new mobs. We've got some new heads, that's right. We now have the Axolotl, the Glow Squid, and of course the Goat. We just can't live without the Goat. Extra Heads has these new mobs heads already added into the system. Moving over to Dynatech. The times that bees change the material generation has been altered slightly. So normally the hive takes 30 minutes. The first bee you add will drop two and a half seconds on a basic bee in a hive. We put in 128, that drops the time down to 24 minutes and 40 seconds for the hive. But there's a really simple workaround that you can reproduce material a whole lot faster. While one hive with one bee takes 30 minutes, Two hives with one bee each on average will be every 15 minutes. 10 bees in one per hive. You get the idea? You simply put one bee per hive and you can generate material a whole lot faster. Same thing with the robotic bee. Now two full stacks will get that reproduction time down to 14 minutes. But again, two hives, two bees, 15 minutes. So in this case, make three robotic bees they'll be much more productive than two stacks of bees in one hive. And finally, the advanced robotic bees, down to 10 seconds per bee, same process. Four bees in one, four, you know, four hives, one bee in each, would get you down to seven minutes and 30 seconds. So while you can load up the material hives with tons of bees and speed up the one hive, if you have the material and resources and power available, make additional hives and stick one bee in each one would be much faster with less work. All right, moving over to transcendence. TE list, what could TE list possibly be? Well, transcendence has gotten some recent updates to it, and this will allow you to see what players have a Daxi effect. I currently have a Daxi effect on. So if you are a Let's say you're in a big PvP and you want to know what you're going up against. In this case, you can find out if the player you're going to fight has a Daxi effect already in place. Additionally, let's go over because there's some additional items which you can configure within Transcendence. So let's look at the config. All right, so looking here at the Transcendence config, the five Daxi effects, you can actually configure their power levels for each one. And another, a bunch of other options have been added as well. For example, you can make unstable ingots undroppable, meaning if you grab that unstable ingot, you will die, no exceptions. You can also change the intervals for regeneration, for the instability. And if you really want, you can even customize the messages. Let's get back to some more of the changes. So now we're in the head limiter configuration file and some new things have been added in here. Currently, you are already able to edit the amount of nodes per chunk. By default, it's 25. However, you can now assign permissions. So for example, one of the servers I play on has a number of ranks where players can rank up without having to use real life money to gain these ranks. As you rank up for each one, you could assign the number of nodes that they can place per chunk as that rank increases. Therefore, taking a little bit more time to get through the game potentially and also slowing down the amount of lag that gets created on a server. Really nice add-on feature. I love this. We got one more plugin to take a look at. Let's head back to the game. Current in-game effect has already been added to the Infinity Expansions, well, the uh, Sky Piercer. Let's summon in a fun mob here. Let's do a creeper. All right, take aim and get back here. The icy bow explosion effect has now been added to the sky piercer just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. Everybody, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support on the channel for following along this week's updates as well as all of your feedback, suggestions, and comments. I really appreciate them. But as always, when you're playing Slime Fun, you gotta go boomer or you gotta go home. We'll see you later.